what I do, what I do, da da do, da da do. My name is Jay Quinn Wilson, and I play Dr. Sukrovich, a.k.a. Dr. Sugar. Dr. Sugar is a young neurosurgeon who is basically facing the, the first real ethical dilemma of his career. If I had to describe Dr. Sugar in three words, I would say that he is maybe a little bit naive, um, torn uh, between Mrs. B and Catherine, and professional, most of the time. This is the first Tennessee Williams play I've ever done. The, the language that Tennessee uses, I think, is, uh, it's, it's got this poetic beauty, um, this kind of uh, like sultry elegance to it. One thing I notice is that he never uses more words than he has to. It's all these little things that it's, I mean, it's not him telling you what to do, but it's him telling you that there's something there. Or, you know, a sentence starting with, with a dash in front of it meaning, oh, what is this, this is, you know, I wanted to say something else, but maybe I need to say this. What am I thinking here? What do I want to say and why can't I say it? Uh, and yeah, his writing is just, I mean, every single night I'm making new discoveries, which is just the, the best gift you can get as an actor working on a show. I think the most compelling part of the story is the relationship between Mrs. Venable and her son Sebastian. It makes you think of when, when is unquestioning, unconditional love a good thing and when can it be harmful? You know, it's it's kind of like, you know, these swamps are always kind of encroaching on us. And so with, yeah, with this, with Mrs. Venable's house and Sebastian's garden, you've got, you've got this high society, this, this woman in the house, and then you've got this garden. In this jungle encroaching on it, like ever looming over this enti the entire show. If Dr. Sugar was a cocktail, I would say that he would be a Manhattan. Because, like a Manhattan, Dr. Sugar is a transplant to New Orleans. Uh, it would be with bourbon, um, obviously. And I would say that Dr. Sugar would take it, shake it, not stir.